What's going on, everybody? It's Alan from Breaking and Entering. We are hanging out at Cactus Club right now. Elliot Mags, how are you doing today, man? Doing great. How are you, man? You are in town. I'm doing good, by the way. Um, uh, you're in town right now. You're playing with Social Sig tonight at Cactus Club. Um, this is your first Milwaukee appearance. This is my first Milwaukee appearance, yeah. How does it feel? How's the city been treating you so far? I know you've dropped in uh, you know, here and there, but... Um, I was here one other time uh, before a tour to pick up Andy. We were yeah. we rehearsed actually at Cactus Club um, right. when we were there. So, um, but yeah, so far, I mean, Andy is such a great host. You know, he shows <laughs> me pretty much everything there is to see in Milwaukee, and uh, you know, just been actually been going to Ian's a lot. We've been eating a lot of pizza. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, it's a solid stop. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. also from New York, so like, I'm trying to find good pizza pretty much everywhere I go. Right. So I that's definitely understandable. There's, yeah. there's plenty to choose from for sure. Absolutely. Um, so you're here, you know, getting kind of working on things before, uh, you know, possibly another tour is on the way, right? Yeah. Um, uh, actually, well, Andy and I we're we're making his record right now. He's oh, he's okay. working on like a like a solo EP right now. So sure. we're we're kind of like um, structuring out some stuff, and um, you know. We have a I have a show tomorrow in Boston actually, so we're going to be oh, okay. flying to Boston in the morning. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, together. So we're gonna. This is actually kind of like a, a a bit of a warm up for that. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So that is okay. No stranger to hectic uh, travel for sure. Then I guess not. Yeah. I I, <laughs> I didn't really. Uh, I, I want to say I didn't really think it through, but in a sense, I wouldn't really have it any other way. Okay. <laughs> um, speaking of hectic travel, you toured a lot last year. You put out a record, 2020, 20, 2021. Yes. <laughs> um, touring behind that record, you know, playing that out, how was that experience? Because I'm sure that, you know, your last record had been probably an eternity since you actually got to tour that. It's true, yeah. I mean, if I'm being per perfectly honest, like, I didn't really tour my first album. I was uh, kind of in transition from... Uh, leaving Buffalo and moving to LA at that point so okay. I spent a lot of time just like you know trying to figure my life out um, sure. so with this record this past record Say Things um, I got a few opportunities to take it on the road and um, you know those tours were a lot of fun we got to tour with the Happy Fits and with Oso Oso so nice. far and um, you know I, uh, those were wild experiences like yeah. I, I really <laughs> I really uh, I love those dudes and I appreciate them taking us out and additionally like um, those were just my those were my first two tours from, okay yeah so it was it was a big learning experience yeah um, but I you know can't wait to do it again yeah you know? prior to releasing stuff as mags were you doing anything like were you in other bands playing out and stuff yeah, like that yeah I, I mean I can't even count how many bands I've like either been in or played with at okay. this point uh, I was kind of like the the on-call musician <laughs> at times in Buffalo, and it would be like, oh, my band is playing this show, and like our usual drummer can't make, can you fill in? I'm like, yeah. yeah. So I'd you know, learn the set in a few days, and <laughs> um, I had my own bands in Buffalo as well. Um, but yeah, I, it just kind of got to a point where um, it kind of just wasn't that fulfilling anymore to like kind of right. just get to a certain point yeah. and then have to, you know, it's like somebody's schedule doesn't line up or like, things just kind of fizzle out, you know, right. so I tried doing my own thing. Um, putting out music by yourself as opposed to being part of a, a different entity, being part of a different band, exactly. does it feel different to play that live, to be like, this is something that's like a little bit more personal and here, here you go world, like, it's, this is me? Yes and no. I guess like, I, when I'm playing my songs with my band, I kind of let everybody interpret them, you know, in the way that they see fit. Yeah. Um, you know, I kind of start off by saying, you know, listen to the record, learn it, like the record. And then right. as we kind of play more shows and like, you know, start to kind of everyone kind of develops their own kind of personal style with it. Right. And you kind of just leave room for interpretation, you know. For sure. Now you, you put something out on Instagram recently at the start of the year um, that kind of, you know, said that 2022, rough year. Um, but you, you, at the end, you teased a little bit of uh, some music coming with that, too. Yeah. Saying you yeah. made some of your best stuff. Um, new project? New album? New album. New album? New album is, is coming this year, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to be announcing a new single pretty soon. Nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, last year was, was definitely tough and, like, um, more on the kind of a personal note than, than necessarily, like, 
anything happening with you know music you sure. know but of course um all artists are kind of going through it right now with touring you know right. things are just kind of not really set up for people to succeed you know if you're not at like a very very high level and even at that level it's it's you know there's always there's always something you know for what I mean? sure so um just trying to navigate through like you know what comes my way and how to like figure out how to you know still play shows and still put put forth my best efforts without burning myself out you know? right absolutely um so in terms of progress for it you said new single on the way is the album recorded or is it it's funny the process? yeah it, i actually the, the album's recorded um i'm in the process of mixing right now um, okay. actually it was funny because right before we started this interview i got a text from uh, my producer he said he's a, there's a new mix up uh, <laughs> that i need to listen to so so you're dying to hear that right now i mean it's not going anywhere but yeah yeah <laughs> i'm definitely excited to hear it yeah, yeah. for sure uh, do you have a rough time of year that maybe you want to put this thing out, uh, or is that down the line too far yet? Um, we're, we've been talking like early summer, okay. sometime in the summer. You know, that's what I, I like to put out stuff in the summer, just because it's like it kind of soundtracks. Yeah. In the summer, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you're playing tonight, and is there a chance that you're teasing anything new? I know it's just you and Andy right now as mm -hmm. a duo. Um, teasing anything new or trying anything else new i will actually i'm actually gonna be playing the new single oh sweet yeah we, we actually we played it uh on the last tour we did um actually we played we played two of the new songs but we're only playing one today okay yeah uh was it that was it any of that record written on tour last year since you were out and about a ton <laughs> not really I, I honestly like i had most of it pretty much written um by the summer of last year and I, I started recording it in the summer of last year so Sweet. by the time we went on tour it was like pretty much good to go um, I finished that last I finished that tour in like November and then I went straight to the studio and finished it oh wow yeah. okay it's pretty intense <laughs> yeah pretty intense um, so there's a lot to look forward to there's a lot going on in the world of mags in general uh, if people want to find you and follow you where mm -hmm. is the best place to kind of get in touch with what you're doing um, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to get my TikTok going a little bit here too. Okay. Just you know, it's like uh, ElliotMags.com or Elliot or uh, Elliot underscore Mags for all the socials, and then ElliotMags.com for everything else. There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, be sure to check them out. Uh, if you weren't here at Cactus Club, you missed out. But uh, you know, there's plenty, plenty more on the way. So get excited for that, and uh, keep it locked to Breaking and Entering as well for. It. Tons of coverage of not only the Milwaukee music scene, but everywhere outside of that as well. Thanks so much, man. Thanks for having me.